first of all, I was held in Lagos, Lagos prison, maximum security prison in Lagos. Uh, and when I smuggled out that statement, uh, denying all the charges and insisting that I be tried, the government panicked and decided to move me to Kaduna and place me in complete solitary confinement. Um, the, I, was, I was shocked. It was one of the most bitter moment, bitterest moments of my incarceration to find the Minister of Information calling an international press conference and reading what was supposed to be my confession. It's, it's one of the most horrible things that can happen to anybody in, in prison. That you feel, what else? What is going to come next? What are they going to say next? What are they, you know, speaking in my name, reading, not even accusing me. I mean, that's okay. But actually saying, I have here his confessional statement. And every bit of it, except the trip to Biafra, a complete fabrication. But uh, after I, you know, I got to Kaduna, so I stayed completely quiet for some time, didn't even attempt to reach the outside world, just made sure they thought I was a complete model prisoner, totally resigned to being in isolation. And I began to probe the chinks and managed to start getting uh, things outside, even sent some poems for publication to my publisher outside, which had scribbled on toilet paper with ink had manufactured and so on. Uh, 